Hi, my name is Michelle Diffenderfer. I'm the president of Lewis Salmon and Walker in West Palm Beach, Florida. It is my great pleasure to be here today to introduce Jim Shore, General Counsel of the Seminole Tribe of Florida, and this year's recipient of the ABA's 2020 Environment, Energy and Resources Government Attorney of the Year Award. Known within the tribe as the Great Negotiator, Jim Shore became the Seminole Tribe's Deputy General Counsel in 1981 and General Counsel the following year. Jim was the first in the tribe to become a lawyer. Born on the northwest shore of Lake Okeechobee on what is now known as the Brighton Reservation, Jim grew up with his brothers and sisters in the woods where the family raised cattle. They lived in traditional Seminole chickees made of cypress logs with thatch palmetto fronds for roofs. Jim was to have become a rancher with the rest of his family, but a car accident that left him blind opened another path, one that would take him to Stetson University. Jim thought maybe he would teach, but a friend's father persuaded him to go on to Stetson Law School, where Jim recorded his classes with a tape recorder and classmates read cases and law books to him. With these incredible listening skills, a brilliant mind and a penchant for knowing just what to do at the right time, Jim was the perfect trusted counselor for the Seminole Tribe's chairman and tribal council over the past 40 years. When you Google Jim Shore for the Seminole Tribe, you will find all the accomplishments that the tribe has achieved over the years. And Jim right there alongside the tribe's leaders, helping guide decisions listening to leadership and doing the due diligence to ensure that the tribe made great choices. One of Jim Shore's early accomplishments in the environmental arena was the negotiation and approval of the tribe's water rights compact with the state of Florida in 1987. Today, it is still the only water rights compact with an Indian tribe east of the Mississippi River. Thank you for recognizing me with this award as the General Counsel for the Seminole Tribe of Florida. I am humbled to be chosen the Seminole Tribe of Florida as a proud group of Indians have never backed off or backed away from a fight to preserve our sovereignty and protect the rights of our tribal members. So Seminole Tribe of Florida has 24, I mean 4,200 members on seven reservations, around 90,000 acres in Middle and South Florida. The Seminole Tribe has been involved in various lawsuits throughout the years. And I think we're more famous to gaming than environmental cases. But one case that stands out is the one over the state of Florida which we settled and negotiated out a water compact with the state of Florida. The compact allows the tribe to quantify their water rights, water usage, drainage, and the value of these rights is that it allows the tribe to participate in the state's permitting system off the reservation for both the state and the tribe has a mechanism in place that allows both the state and the tribe to be able to work things out without impacting one of the other's resources. And I think uh, our next big case will be, which, which may not be too long in the future, will be with the Lake Okeechobee Restoration Plan for the federal agencies are attempting to do something with the Lake Okeechobee. Seminole Tribe of Florida is not opposed to their intent, but we're opposed to the way the studies that they have supported in the project. And we're in the middle of discussion of that particular plan, so that may be our next big case. But for the time being, that is the two main things that we have on the agenda the Seminole Tribe at this point. And again, I thank you for the recognition and I hope to see you at the next, next convention.